It's officially summertime over here at the Palm Palace. Is that a freaking deer? You bastards eat everything. They don't even like it. They just nibble. They just nibble. Anyways, back to my Palm Palace here. Everyone is just doing awesome. Another amazing flush by this Sago. I love them when they're like this, so soft and beautiful right now. His brother did an amazing flush here too. He skipped last year, he never produced any new foliage. And now it's like, boom! Like double layered, almost triple layered. You got one, two, three, four from one flush that guy blew up so if your sago skips a year don't worry I mean he skipped so it's been two years since he produced any new foliage and now look boom and then the robustas are just absolutely glorious huge I can't even gauge how massive they got look at that spear so tough won't even budge I mean these robustas started off as tiny little plants like right there two or three leaves on them and now they're just massive here this one I'm gonna cut off the last of the burnt fronds if you can see how much it's grown since cutting it all down Oh yeah, and the musabaja here is just absolutely ginormous. It's like taller than the house almost. But yeah, the Phoenix Canariensis is, I did uh, some trimming here. I took off a couple there. They were like hanging almost on the ground. But now, ever since I did that, it's been pushing more and more. Windmill, he's got his next layer, he's got one layer, and now he's got another layer, and then he's gonna work on his next layer. So this windmill is actually recovering nice. It's been a while. Um he's doing great. This pindo still keeping it strapped so that it will grow upwards over because it's just too close to this robusta way too close but hey if I can get them growing in the right direction then hey still got some lingering sables here if anybody wants them but yeah they need their room here so I gotta point them in the right direction because that canary this is just boom blowing up this year I can't even understand what's going to happen here one day if this phoenix continues to to grow this sable doesn't stand a chance back here but this was on the ground right here on my last video i think look how much it's already pushed up bam this sable is awesome and then, yep, got some new Musa Baju over here. Because this, um, this one's done here. I'm going to have to rip that down. Because he's got his banana. And I've stole all his pups. So, there will be none here. But there's plenty over here. So, there's even one coming out of that. Oh, it looks like an old one that I've cut down. Looks like it came out. Or it could have been one that died back. Looks like it came right out of an old one. So these are really old ones that got sliced. So, but yeah, Musabaji is awesome. If you got the room, I don't really like them next to the Mike Phoenix here. They need more sun. The Musabaji is blocking it all. Yep, and last but not least, my big sable is doing amazing up there. Some scraggly looking pindos here. I'm trying to bring them back to to life 
This one came back nicely. Boom. Yep. Agave looking amazing. It's opening a new new leaf right now. I always like to pull back on them and look at that amazing green. It doesn't even look real. Ouch, Roby. Robuses always get jealous when you look at the other plants. But yeah, that guy's huge. Camera ups, humulus. Look how many pups. Oh crap. All kinds of pups are coming off this guy. Camera ups, humulus grows amazing here. I see them in other places. They grow huge. And a big tracky carp is here, outgrowing his Washingtonia brother there by a lot. He's growing up and over. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's it. Oh, these agaves are really pushing out some pups here. I've got two, and I'm sure there's more lingering if I look for them. But yeah. That's the yard so far, guys. Everything survived, except this one pindo I had over here. It seemed to have died. But the row of pindo seedlings is actually doing really good. They're all do good. This is the only one that lingers a little bit. He's not as big as the other ones. I don't think he gets as much sun. But yeah, that one's doing really good, this pindo. These pindos are completely unprotected. They're just growing here. Just want to see if they can establish themselves. But yep, that's the yard. Oh, my uh, sable miner is finally deciding to join the party. Here, boom. Sable miner, finally. You little shit. This is all it's done in like a year. This one leaf. And the last but not least, another self-sustaining pindo. One of the bigger ones. Boom. Yep, there she is, guys. How long this can continue, who knows? Who knows? It's like a big giant experiment. Oh yes, and my Livestona pile here. Freaking deer. See the deer? You know what I'm talking about? They come by and I just a little nibble nibble. My Livestona decora. And Livestona chinensis. Boom. It's the Livestona race right there. Who's gonna win? <laughs>